In this lesson, we're required to find the integral of x squared cos x dx, and we're going to use integration by parts. And just as a little reminder, I've placed the rule over here on the right-hand side. Now, the first thing we need to do is decide which will be the u term and which will be the dv by the x term. Now, in this particular case, the x squared, well, that'll be the u term, and the cos x, that will be the dv by dx term. So applying the rule, we have the following. We have u times v, well, u is x squared. And v, well, we need to integrate cos x, and that will be sine x. We're going to subtract the integral of the v term, which is sine x. And that's multiplied by du by dx. In other words, I need to differentiate x squared to give 2x. And that's with respect to x. I can just uh, rearrange this a little bit. So x squared sine x minus the integral of 2x sine x with respect to x. Now I'll need to apply integration by parts again on this set of terms here. So u will be the 2x term and sine x, well, that will be my dv by dx term this time. So again, applying the rule, we have the following. Well, we have x squared sine x. I've got a negative, and I'll put this in brackets. So we have u times v, well, u is 2x. And this time we have to integrate sine x, which is negative cos x. That's minus the integral of the v term, which is negative cos x. And du by dx this time will be 2. And that's with respect to x. So just in a little bit more tidy up here, we've got x squared sine x minus, well, this negative and this negative, in this case, we'll have a positive. So 2x cos x. We've got two negatives here, which will be positive, but then we multiply by this negative here. So we'll have a negative, the integral. Well, the two we can put outside the integral, and we've got cos x dx. So x squared sine x plus 2x cos x minus 2. The integral of cos x is sine x. And then we just need to add on the constant of integration.